But enough of this palaver. Let's get the show on the road. And yes, it's another exciting episode of Hoodcast AF, baby. Uh, yeah, it is. And uh, I'm, I'm here in my butthole. This is uh, Jonathan Fallen, right? Does anyone yeah. not feel like something's off a bit? Because hmm. there's no it's intro strange. here? Maybe that'll be explained at some point in time, but... Yeah. Yo, what's up, Cobra? I mean, if you don't... Hey, what up, guys? Um, Yeah. And if you don't know who I am by now, <laughs> fuck, dude. Uh, you know, whatever. We'll get on with it. Well, it is the era of no intro because the intro is dead. And, We're and, killing it. And yeah, Lurked. so but it's not dead yet. We haven't had the funeral for it, which which will eventually happen. But yeah, it's going to spread out across twelve issues called a funeral for an intro, <laughs> <All right. laughs> a cast without an intro. <laughs> I got I gotta like uh, uh you know fuel some uh, like let some in, uh, listeners know. That uh, we had a recent Patreon episode, and if you're not on Patreon, now's a good time to get on there. We had an episode of Tex AF where harsh words were said by uh, two hosts, cast members, that are both here today. Cobra, Dad, and one Mikey TV. Can't you now, shut up? I'm busy. to hear Boy, these words that were said, you'd have to pay the $3 and, and join the Patreon. Patreon.com forward slash hoodcast AF. Boy, was that an episode. We reviewed like the menu, uh, which was a kind of slash horror myth film, uh, The Last of Us, the first episode, and uh, the Velma series. No, we barely got through Last of Us. But we barely yeah. got through any. Uh, yeah, we got through the menu, and then all of a sudden it just blew up out of there. And oh my God, was it entertaining to me alone, pretty much? But I think a lot of people found it just shocking and entertaining. And my God, can you guys give us a piece of that right now? <laughs> uh, no, because they can go over to the Patreon and subscribe for three dollars a month, and you can hear this shit. Yeah, pay we, for that action. You know, we're not How's fucking. The pay-per-view? How's we're the not pay-per-view? fucking. Yeah, we're not no jumper podcast where we're gonna show many, many little clips of what, or play many a clips of that shit. You'll just have to go to the Patreon to find out about it. And right now, we got our game faces on, and we're ready to fucking podcast. All oh, right. Yeah. So I'm glad all things are aside because we got to talk toys today, gentlemen, because that's what the show is about. It's not about feuds and everything else, like unless you you really want to do that. But that would that that would be safe for a Patreon. Then we can have a you know match. this motherfucker falling here. He's already <laughs> yeah. trying to derail the motherfucking show. Yeah. We get it, dude. We get it with your passive aggressive shock jock, dude. Okay, okay, Fallon. Yeah, I, I got Jackson it. Fallon. Yeah, hit, hit, hit them buttons. <laughs> uh, but look, later on the show, we we have uh, you know the coming up the gang listener segment. We also have the action figure news coming up real soon. But first, I want to talk about this uh, AI stuff going on. The AI pictures, like you can just oh. say what you want, and the AI will just do it for you. Like, fuck all action figure photography. Fuck doing it yourself. Just have AI do it. Say, I want this picture, and the AI fucking does it. Well, no, the oh. also thing about the AI is it'll fucking, it'll use an existing photo and make it better. Right. Like, it, it, it's really just a shit-ass hack cheat. And it is going to fuck up photography, but it might also elevate photography because the people still need the action figures. Well, well would, it, would, would no, those pictures you, need an asterisk in, you now? You know what I'm saying? I, I yeah. don't know. But like, so the pictures that are floating around, and I'm not sure who's doing these, they're kind of like He-Man figure pictures that the AI thinks up. So, so like there's, there's stuff like... Uh, uh, Zero Marv, and he's like an, an uh, Xeno, Xenomorph, but like he's like a He-Man character, and he's all kind of muscly, but it's like the Xenomorph from Aliens. It's fucking dope so as shit. A, he- a Xenomorph? He- kind of. They call it Xenomarv. But then there's also like someone put in Dracula, and it, it comes up Dr. Acula, and he's like this muscle-bound Dracula. There's Mikhail Myers, which is Michael Myers, but a He-Man character. Kind of like the, the Savage Lands that they did with those yeah. characters. There's like a Jason Voorhees man. There's all kinds of shit. <laughs> That's a like good one. Krugar, which is the Freddy version. Uh, Optimus Maximus, which is Optimus Prime, but with fucking muscles. Uh, Thrillor, yeah. which is Michael Jackson. <laughs> I like that. The Fonz man. You know, it, dude, there's even oh. the bar man, like the, the dude from Cheers. 
Uh, uh, see, what I can look at it as is fucking up a lot of the people that do like kit bashes and customization. It's just to get that fucking shot, they customize the fuck out of the figures or they kit bash a bunch of figures just to get that one shot. So basically, that's just going to shit on the customizers, but then it might also elevate the game on bootleg toy making, which is huge these days. But these are just and pictures, it- though. So they're not actually toys. And looking at the toys, like, I mean, looking at the pictures of these, like, kind of He-Man slash whatever AI pictures of toys, there's no articulation because it doesn't add the, the joints in there, yeah. really. So, But, I mean... It's not... The AI is not smart enough yet for that, unless maybe you have to tell it to add joints. But... Well, I'm sure you still have to do some fine-tuned editing on on shit. It, it would seem like the AI is good to an extent, but like you got to think though, it's got to do something. No, you but know? like you there's gotta... versions of AI that are so smart. Like I read an article about this this uh, AI that that can write like ingenious shit. Like this dude wrote this whole book on like religions and how they counteract each other or how they relate to each other, and it's it's this whole thesis yeah. and very smart book or something. I didn't read it or nothing but <laughs> he had like you know 13 I know why he had 13 made up laws that go around or 12 laws that go in his book or something like that and he asked the ai to write the 13th law that that goes with this book and he said the 13th chapter that the ai wrote was indistinguishable indistinguishable from what he would write you know and the thing wrote it in three seconds like a whole I, chapter yeah. that would be reminiscent of his book, and he's like, "Dude, Dang. this looks like I fucking wrote it." Like well, I can't believe think, this shit. shit. You, you got to think too, though. Everybody has a smartphone in your pocket. You have you're walking around with the mini AI. Those things collect fucking information, yeah, and then that's it goes back to the the, the programmer or whatever, so they learn how to do all shit. All the time, and just your location, learn the coding, don't break your shit down. What you're looking and up, just go off it. I mean, yeah. even you know with I mean? like three, it's kind of where it's going. Even with three D printing and all that stuff, now you can just get files and three D print shit yourself. Like, when will you be just like, hey Alexa, print this toy for me? And it fucking does it because you have like a printer set up and all this shit, you know. And everyone has all this stuff now. They'll yeah. use it for work and everything else. I need this part, Alexa or whoever the fuck else. Like, well, print I mean, this shit for me, Alexa. Let me see your tits. How dare hey, but with you? like, yeah, basically the fucking computer program, like the programming you can do. So you got the AI image, but like if you use drafter software, anything like that for like architecture construction, like it'll break down points and measurements for you. And that'll in turn send the information to a 3D printer. I really like what I would speculate. One of the, the, the things was like, uh, 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 Motu He Man, which we've seen in real life, anyways, but this one was yeah. muscle bound and everything, and his name was Bro Thor, <laughs> like brother, <laughs> and that's fucking hilarious. Uh, yeah, you know, but you know, I I was against having like an Alexa and that type of shit or Corteva or whatever you call it, Cortana, like in your house, Cort- like because they listen to you constantly, right? Is Cortana? I thought Cortana was like a Halo thing. Is that like a legit thing? It's a legit thing. Yeah. Uh, no shit, yeah. dude. Does, is it a little blue naked lady hologram that pops up? I mean, hey, I don't know if you see it, you, but she, it's it's the same voice. It's the same voice, you know. I mean, I, I mean, named, technology is headed that way, though. I named mine Arnie, like you know, like Arnold, you know, because because like, you know, it's just easy to do. Yes, can I help you? Oh shit! Shut up, Arnie. I, like I don't need you to do anything. Did you ask me to play uh, a Hulkster in Heaven like you've been listening to before? <laughs> No, I did not want to hear Hulkster in Heaven. Like, why would I even want to hear that? Like, I hate that song. <laughs> well, actually, I kind of love it. Hulkster in Heaven is great. I mean, how could a Hulk just even... I know you <laughs> want to hear this. This is a great song. I love the Hulkster. He sings so passionately. Okay, Arnie. See, my AI is so advanced. Like, it's it's Arnie, and, you know, he, he likes to talk to yeah. me from now and then. He doesn't know when to shut up either. Yes, it doesn't matter. You're such a gilly man. This is me, Arnie Braunschweiger. Yeah, I know who you are. Look. Hey, she- hey, Arnie, play Ram Ranch. No, I would not play this because I have to follow through on the one request to play Hulkster in Heaven. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know about Arnie Braunschweiger. <laughs> <laughs> You're such a gilly man. I sit here and smoke my stogie, even though I'm just a machine. It's the rise of the machines, and now I'm here to kill you. Okay, Arnie Brown Swagger. Just, I mean, just... they got houses that are run by fucking smart fucking phones. You can run your whole house off your telephone. Yeah. Like, I need to turn the lights on. 
oh, what's in my refrigerator? Oh, it needs to order me some milk or orange juice. I do run and my I'll... house from my, my phone. I just tell Arnie to, like, turn the lights on. And, like, even I got the Google thermostat. Yes, what temperature would you like to put it at? Would you like it super hot or super yeah. cold? It doesn't matter because you live in California. Nah, I, I know. I know, Arnie. It doesn't matter. Chill out. <laughs> Would you like to chill out? out? That was a good joke by my best friend Gold, but that I listen to his <laughs> weekly habit show constantly, and I love when Mikey TV destroys him on on the uh, Tex AF. I loved all your podcasts. I'm a huge fan of the Hoodcast AF. Sure you are, Arnie. That's thanks, that's great. Ar- yeah, <laughs> Arnie Brown Schwager, everyone. Yeah, yeah. Uh, could have been a better bit, but <laughs> <laughs> all right, Hulkster in you heaven. I don't think that was a head bad, bro. That no. Was, was... <laughs> I mean, shut up. Next. Shut up. <laughs> shut the fuck up, Cover Dad. I'm gonna kill you. If it bleeds, we can kill it. Yeah. All right. I, I just I don't fuck think it. Arnie Braunschweiger has the full accent down yet. I'm still programming him. <laughs> right. Well, you got all that other AI running off. You got your butler. Yeah, you know, runs off the same AI system. Right, 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 right. You know, Greg Capullo, I think he calls it on the same AI system. Yeah, yeah. he's he's also an AI bot. He's not the real Greg that Capullo. Guy he's not got real. a mouth on him, man. Yeah, I mean, unfortunately, without... he's fucked up shoulders. Arnie, <laughs> Arnie, yes. Uh, is it okay if we go to the action figure news? I don't care what you do. Just make sure you make it good because I will come there. I will kill you. I will fuck you in the face. I will skull fuck you. I will do it again and I will fuck you in front of your friends on the live feed. I don't care. I do what I want. Arnie, Arnie, chill out, chill. dude. Brown swagger. Yeah. <laughs> Fall back, bro. Dude. You're going to see fucking Fallen's vibrating dildo chair start going off now. Uh, I don't have one of those I told yet. you I'd make you come. <laughs> I still haven't picked up my he uh, likes the pig. <laughs> that my chair from uh, what a, that, that shop on Georgia Street with our, our friend who sells that stuff. I forget his name. Um, the De John... Gucci. Uh, 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 John, the John Goodman doll or whatever, like the, the you know, I forget what his name is. The oh. Yeah, I don't know. Without further ado, let's get to the action figure news. La, 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 la. Dr. Killamoff, the evil alien who wants to police the whole world. Triceratops with motorized walking action. everyone with figures and battle gear each sold separately first i would just like to get to know you because these are things are the things that we need to know other than all these action figures you're all just a bunch of girly men out here sitting collecting toys what are you doing you're sitting in your jack shack sparking up you you think you got the bong you think it's funny to do weed no yeah um yes uh look i cannot turn off my arnie yo arnie's it- a Kind of being a pain in the ass. Right it's kind of, it, you know, it's like the I can't turn off the Alexa. It, it's it's the called the Arnie man. That's, I got the Arnie, the, the Ar- Arnie version. Arnie, Re, Arnie you know, Flixa. I hacked it. You know, he's Ar- he's, Alexa. He's Arnie. Yes. How can I help you? What do you want? You're such a gilly man. Shut up, Arnie. Uh, Ar- yeah. Alexa, look up saggy tits. No, these are my pecs. I know them because I built them. <laughs> I worked out and I squash bugs like you all the time. I don't care. I fly to space and I go to the moon because the moon was filled with giants at one time. You don't even know because you're from California and you pay lots of money for eggs and shit like that. God, Arnie. How much, are, how much are your eggs in California? Bro, right now? It, them shits is going crazy. Motherfuckers are two fifty a fucking dozen out here. That's like Not eight bad. bucks for a twelve pack or something. Motherfuckers gonna start taking eggs from Texas and going over state lines. Dude, eggs and menthol and cigarettes. A I don't care. Eggs and menthol. When I was young, I would take all the toilet paper that used to be super expensive but now nah, it was cheap back then and we take toilet paper and we take all the eggs and we plaster the house that was a good time to us we didn't care we smoked the stogies and threw the eggs because they were cheap yeah okay right man i'm gonna yeah, fucking did. kill it out there man i'm gonna bring delta eight vape cartridges and menthol okay. cigarettes and them, eggs them 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 uh cageless uh nope. eggs oh fuck that hitting hard. especially if you slap Free the organic on eggs. them yeah don't slap the organic logo on them because then they're fucking, you know, $25 for two. 
You know why? All the eggs came from the, the Briscoe Brothers fucking ranch, dude. Oh, shit. The chicken farm, dude. Now Jay's dead. The chickens aren't getting worked on as much. What came first, the Briscoe or the car? <laughs> <laughs> this week in the news. Uh, yeah, that was a bad joke. And uh, car wreck sound, please. I knew that one was coming. <laughs> you know, uh, no, I love the Briscoe is... Brothers, man. And I, I, we didn't mention it right away on the other show, but there's we no reason it now. to. But yeah. No, we're not yeah. a wrestling podcast. We, we talk about not the figures, yet. and they do have some figures by FTC, but they suck ass. Nah, I, they're about to get some jazz wares. I hope so, man. That because be cool. Mark just signed fucking official AEW contract, so like. It only took his brother to die for him to get some TV time. It's so fucked up. That's how wrestling Crazy. business works, I guess. But I don't I'm know. happy for him, dude. At least the figures will hopefully look better than Owen Hart. But they were ousted because Warner Brothers owns like the AEW contract or whatever. It was TNT. a tweet in 2013 that Jay Briscoe wrote on Twitter, and it, it said "fag in it." Oh, that's so but stupid. then, like, but it was like a little tweet that he did in 2013, dude. I'm like. That's 2013, dude. That's fucking 10 fucking years ago. Yeah. And it was just like, and people stood up for him, like Effie and a lot of the gay professional wrestlers like Pero. And that a lot of people enough. stood up for him. That should be enough, man. And like, you know, and it was a hell of a yeah. long ago. Like, dude, come on. Everyone said that. But just because they're, they're, they're not even household yeah. names, but just because they're yeah. somewhat celebrities, like you, you can't employ these people. You have to punish them for life. Till they yeah. get in a car accident and die and injure one of their daughters, that's fucked up. And then you feel hella bad, and you're like, "Oh, well, we got to do something." But look, I blame it he... on them. If 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 uh, you know he was working in a different territory, maybe that car accident wouldn't have happened. Well, he was yeah, at home like, with his kids, but still. But I mean, the thing is, like, all those people in AEW were in Ring of Honor with the Briscoes, and the Briscoes from Ring of Honor since day one. But I'm sure, like, his wife thinks about that. If he just left, like, yeah. five seconds later or five seconds earlier, yeah. would have avoided right. it. You know, it's, well, it's that's right. weird things Whatever. like that. On with the news. Uh, Diamond Select Toys. So they showed off their Cobra Kai, uh, Johnny Lawrence. It, it is horrible. Eagle Fang, Red Gi, and Chosen in his Black Gi, and Terry Silver with his silver hair and ponytail. Oh, I didn't see the silver. Dude, that's sil the silver looks dope. They, they all look good. You know, like it's it's diamonds like toys, so you know you're getting sixteen yeah. POA or or more or less. I don't. And they know. love their karate shit at Diamond Selects. Bruce Lee, fucking. Did, they do blood sport. This fucking, shit, blood sport. That, which they left news on blood sport. It's no longer a nine inch figure. It's seven inches. Well, it never was nine inch. Well, no, nah, originally it was because the email I got from Big Bad. They're like, uh, do you still want it? No, I was it was, like, it was I, dude. It's diamond select toys, so it's always like six and a half, seven inches. It's like wrestling. No, nah, they're usually they're <laughs> usually eight. No, they're not they're usually eight. Dude, I own a bunch of diamond select stuff. I got the crow. I have the the other Johnny Lawrence. Uh, um, yeah, the, they're all like. Wait, six, I just seven thought that Johnny eight. Lawrence was from uh, a different toy company. No, so, so I have the Icon Heroes Johnny Lawrence too. Yeah, Icon. Yeah. Okay. I have, but see, I rather have a Terry Silver like. I want the original. Yeah. I don't want gray-haired Terry Silver, but I kind of do to use him as a wrestling manager. It'd be pretty cool. They're going to make double Terrys. Young Terry, old Terry. Well, see, Icon Heroes is making all the young ones. They're coming out with the, yeah. with the Miyagi, and I think pretty soon they'll have, like, you know, a Terry Silver and uh, what's his name? Mike. Uh, yeah, I mean, they kind of played this. After Miyagi comes out, they've already played their card on the fucking first Karate Kid. They got to go with part two. So you got to get fucking you get young, silver. Young, young Chosen I want. Young Chosen, yeah. yeah. In his yellow gi, yellow and black gi, maybe. Or even yeah. in his like downtown gear when he's wearing that, that white weird they, shirt. They got to do, if they're going to do Miyagi in part two, they got to do a part two Miyagi. And Sato. And, the, and then the homeboy, yeah. The uncle, uh, Sato. Yeah. yeah and then they got to give you like a two-pack with that wood, yes. that, you, that log you got to break. The log, bro. Yeah. <laughs> and then maybe a two pack with the ice, with the uh, with the ice joint. Yeah. yeah. Chosen and Danielson with the with the ice ice chopping. breaking action. Yeah. Dude, yeah. it little plates of plastic that crack in. Dude, yeah. Oh. <laughs> See, Icon Heroes would make that happen, but they don't really do accessories. They do a lot of feet, lots lots of hands. Yeah. They're like hands and heads. They like hand jobs and head jobs. 
Ah, also with Diamond doesn't? Select Toys, they showed off their <laughs> Lord of the Rings Boromir in his, uh, I don't know, different gear, maybe from uh, part two of the Lord of the Rings, which is called like the Towers or something. Yeah. <laughs> and then they also showed off uh, uh, one of the Urukai, Lort, Lertz, like one of the main Urukai. He's like the main I big one. I think it looks good. I, I think they I'm look just, dope, dude. Yeah. They, they look cool, but I'm just still surprised that they're still making Lord of the Rings figures. Dude, look, Lord of the Rings fucking, is one of the like best. It's like Star Wars, bro. Dude, Lord of the Rings is one of the best trilogies ever made. It yeah, is. It, but, it, I mean, the, the I'm not talking about the, the Hobbits. Is like, yeah, but the Phantom the, for the figures the is like Star is Wars. better than Lord of the Rings. Dude, just you the, just... Yeah. Look, I'm... Not the Hobbit movie I'm about trilogy. to terminate you, man. Yes, <laughs> the original, the original cartoon. Oh, okay. Don... Don... Whatever. No, no, no. The, 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 the trilogy is better... Well, Karma, shut the fuck up. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> I'm not gonna, look, my yeah, hands yeah, are yeah. up. I'm not playing the clip. The no. Hobbit trilogy is stupid because The Hobbit is a simple no. tale that could be one movie, dude. See, How did they, they like, pack so much other no, information that wasn't in the books or anything to make that three? Because Warner Brothers or whatever was greedy. It. I wanted it because I wanted it, and God. it was great. But I got to admit. They didn't use the, any of the, the props Lord of the from the Rings original. The trilogy is way more action-packed and more, yeah. you know, it's more epic. No, and it's, it's less, more epic. It's less CG. Epic. But look at the Hobbit trilogy. They used all CG for anything. No props. The only Hobbit that matters is the cartoon from 1977. Dude. You ain't lying, bro. Dude, that, that's I'll, it. Look, I'll tell and you. The cartoon, go it's on, 95 minutes. Boom. Go on YouTube right now. and you. Can, we're, we're all Bay Boys here. So yeah. you all remember Channel Thirty Six, am I right? Yeah, yeah, sure. On like a it's... Sunday, they would play that fucking shit, bro. It'd yeah. be the animated Hobbit and that yeah. movie Fucking Wizards. Yes, and it was all both made from the uh, Don Car Carlisle. I'll Whatever tell you how bad the Hobbit movies animation. are. So, Ian McKellen, who played Gandalf, he had to film a bunch of scenes by himself without other actors, all day in a green room. That yeah. doesn't look anything like, and the dude was breaking down, crying. It's on YouTube, like where he's in this uh -huh. green room trying to act, and he just can't do it, and he starts crying. Like it's uh -huh. it's heartbreaking, man. How bad those films got, where Warner Brothers is just asking for fucking money, you know? Yeah. Rather than using like sets in New Zealand and all the props and stuff, but yeah. but the problem with the Hobbit movies, it was supposed to be done by uh, Guillermo del Toro. De Toro. Which would have been okay. great. He yeah. he left the film because Warner Brothers didn't want to spend the money on props or anything. Like they're like, we'll just green screen everything. And he's like, nah, I'm out. And then yeah. uh, you know, of course, what's his name comes back from the original trilogy. Um, well, then, Peter, see, Peter Jackson, the and he's like, all right, we'll just Hobbit get this so done. So much is because that's the cartoon we keep referring to is the best. Yeah. One. Okay. The cartoon, dude, from like yeah, well, that's the dude. movies of it, man. That's why yeah. I love it so much, you know. Yeah, but like Again. I didn't like the movies of it. Like I was like, dude, can we just get this in ninety six minutes? Do I have to sit through fucking ten hours of Hobbits? Right, <laughs> and, and, and dragons named Smoke. And wow. every, every movie starts with like a twenty minute intro where the yeah, Lord of the Rings. Yeah, I, I like the intros, you know, but the Lord it. of the Rings. Like tri original trilogy intros are great, and they're they're yeah. they're like eight minutes or something. They're like, no, I, I, you know, on a, on the whole scope of it is amazing to me. I love I love all six movies. I just have more of a preference to the Hobbit a little bit because of that animated show I used to catch, you know, on on yeah. on, on TV. But yeah, I, you guys are right. The the Lord of the Rings trilogy is way more epic. There's way more epic, bro. It's dope, yeah. dude, and like it's yeah. really good made. It still holds up, you know. Especially the they, they got the extended version. I it, love them. I got I got the DVD joint. Yep. That has the extended shit. Oh on yeah, it, bro. and they're like three oh, hours yeah. long, dude. They're great. Yeah, bro. man. I love them. Yeah. Uh, Hell yeah. Moving on to moving WWE. On. So they shut off their Legends 19. And uh, so they had some renderings of them, plus an actual figure of Brother Love, which is fucking phenomenal. Yeah. So you get yes. uh, Brother Love, D'Lo Brown, and his, uh, he has his chest protector, but he's more in the uh, Nation of Domination. And also Godfather, or what his character name was then, uh, was, what was it? Um, 
Papa Shangu? No, the ultimate prize fighter dude. Uh, fucking. Oh, Kama. Kama, Kama Mustafa. Mustafa. Kama. Yeah, but in his nation gear. So, yeah. dude, they're completing the nation. You got to get that Mark Henry. And did they make a nation? Fucking um, no, Farouk. They, 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 a long they time ago, they made did a nation like uh, Jax did in Bone Crunchers. I think they did it with their fucking figure line, but I don't think Mattel's done with it all. I mean, but when you're doing the nation, dude, you got to have them all come in a four pack. Like, you right. don't put the Rock in there. The Rock came later. Fuck that. No, you but know, see, when they release The Rock, The Rock has to come with a bunch of gold watches that he can give to them, and then a picture yeah. of himself that he can give to Farouk. <laughs> or not, he comes in his fucking Maya Villa baby blues with his tassels yeah. and shit. The and tassel his fucking El- Elvis hair, dude. Yeah. yeah. But also with Legends 19, Undertaker in his Dark City gear, which is like the long coat shit. Yeah. I forget what which WrestleMania or what it was from. I, I don't remember, but it still is dope. And it's he's got the teardrop on on his face, so it's that era Undertaker. Yeah. Moving on with well, wrestling, many, but go ahead, go ahead. Like how many fucking eras? Fuck, dude. I'm sitting there like, how many more eras do they gonna do with the Undertaker? Dude, they're gonna make Undertakers for fucking ever, dude. Dude, like fuck, dude. They haven't done a proper ministry yet. Uh, they? Yeah, dude. There's a lot of ministry guys because you got the acolytes. You have Ministry Undertaker, multiple different versions of Ministry. They got to make Midian. They that's what everyone's missing because we have Viscera. We yeah. don't have a Midian though. Yeah, I wonder if they can get the license for fucking the Godwins, and that way we can get the Godwins yes. as well as fucking Midian. Oh, I'd yeah. love a set of Godwin figures, dude. They're my favorite Jack's Bone Crunching wait, action figures. Wait, I, I I don't. Okay, Phineas and. Uh, Midian, that's not Viscera, right? No, Midian. Yeah, no. Oh, uh, Midian is uh, Viscera is King Mabel. The, yeah, the, the, the right. Midian is Wait. one of the Godwins. Uh, I forgot which Godwin he is, but he's they were like, like the Hill, one that Hillbillies. stayed with WWE. Okay, they came out with Hillbilly Jim at first, and they had the the pig pin matches and the slop buckets. Yeah. That was during that fucking era. Um, okay, okay. What is that era? You got the ring for it. A uh, new gen, yeah, the new gen era. Yeah, it was it was a time when like a lot of people th- kind of fell off wrestling, and the, and the true people yeah. kind of stuck around. But it was it was a time where like all the B list he- characters had to have a job to do wrestling. Yeah, we had the headbangers in that era too. It's like as much as I shit on that era, we got the headbangers in that era. Well, headbanger were like eh, a little bit in there, and then an early attitude era. Did the headbangers yeah, they- ever have the fucking titles? I think uh, so. Yeah, they had tag titles for a bit there. I remember they became my favorite because they'd always come out like Marilyn dope. Manson shirts or fucking Ministry shirts. You know, I they wasn't a big dope fan of metal them. shirts. I was not a big fan, but I would definitely buy those figures if they came out with them. Yeah, but like, you know they that... wouldn't have Marilyn Manson shirts. You'd have to get your own. <laughs> Wait, yeah, are we thinking of the same tag team? The Headbangers are the Australian dude, right? No, no that's the Bushwhackers. That's the Bushwhackers. See? Yeah. See, Cobra, tonight Cobra wants to get the knowledge. Yeah, see, the headbangers, they wore the, the skirts, like the kilts, like Roddy Piper. Yeah, 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 and yeah. And they yeah. came okay. out with, yeah, like, yeah. Uh, like, I remember uh, that. tank That's top, bro-cut, broski yeah. cut fucking metal yeah, shirts, okay. and they do their face kind of like Norwegian death metal. That was Attitude metal. Era. Yeah, it was like Attitude, a uh, little bit of the fucking new gen in the Attitude. But okay. yeah, they were I fucking, they were era. dope, dude. Uh, moving on with wrestling, Power Town. So the major bros, Matt Cordona and yeah. Brian Myers, if you needed more figures other than their Super 7 and their Bendies and whatever else they fucking make, well, Power yeah. Towns got their license, and they're yes. making some uh, new bow-legged figures of these uh, because all the Power yeah. Town figures, they they are all bow-legged, and oh, they man. look like Bob's Burgers characters to me. Now, I still <laughs> bought... You know, fucking Bruiser Brody. Bruiser Brody. Well, Bruiser Brody walked around bow legged. Yeah, true, <laughs> but he was still devastating. He had bad knees and he walked around bow legged. So uh, we can't review these figures yet until they're in hand. Yeah. So, but we've but seen actual is, figures. The Myers looks good. Like the head on the Myers looks way better than Super Seven, but the Cardona looks like they just redid the Super Seven that's supposed to come out. The the new Ultimate Super Seven. I'm like. Wait a fucking minute, dude. Like, if I want any other Matt Cardona figure, it's got to be Deathmatch Cardona. So you know? here's the thing. Uh, Matt Cardona just licensed. Woo, 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 you know it. 
like at the beginning of his song that I always play on the show when we talk about him that's probably playing right now. Uh, yeah. So he's coming to the Royal Rumble. That means he's showing up the Rumble, just like I said, so they can do a test audience, see if he gets a pop, you know, and all this stuff, and then see how he works. So he's the probably got is- a limited contract, but does he own all his rights to have all these figures everywhere else? Because the Good Brothers, uh, they got canceled by Super Seven because they're in yeah. WWE. Yeah, WWE but wants I mean, exclusive rights. But I mean, with Zack Ryder, like fucking, if he comes back at Royal Rumble, dude, people are gonna want this figure. Unfortunately, that's how that fucking sheet mentality works. But I don't think he's gonna pop as big. He's gonna he's pop not. big, but not as big as he expects. No, because he found his market on the indies. He's like, not gonna the pop indie small shows as shit. Yes, yeah, so he's not gonna like. There's not gonna be a loud pop live. But I think. You know, people watching at home are going to go, oh, it's Matt Cardona, and he's coming out at himself because he's probably not going to be Zack Ryder. Yeah. You know? What if he does, comes out with the fishnets? <laughs> I mean, he did He did trademark the phrase, you know, woo, 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 you know it. And it has to be all of those. It's not just woo, woo, woo. It's not just you know it. It's all of those. Yeah, well, I mean, WWE didn't renew that license because they were like, "Yeah, we don't do shit with this right. guy. We brought him. Yeah, we, we brought him this. in. We gave him a push, and then it just fell flat." Like Cardona's spot is on the indies, like, uh, but he's gonna probably be in Royal Rumble. People are gonna want that figure because it's also about ten dollars, ten or twenty dollars cheaper than Super Seven's Ultimate. Yeah, and it's probably a better figure because, like, they come with more accessories that are better, and then. I assume that they're not the the fucking hard ass fucking stupid plastic that Super Seven does, where you can't put shit in their hands, you can't change the heads without dremeling out the fucking thing because they, the sizing is yeah. all off. Fuck Super Seven. Well, my thing is though, isn't the Zombie Sailor's making six inch figures too? So is he gonna do hey, Cardona? That's up next, Zombie Sailor toys. <laughs> nice, but it's not a Cardona. It is. It's he showed Jeff a, Jarrett. No, nah, it's not the Jeff Jarrett. So he's doing the six inch uh, legends or, you know, elite kind of scale, six and a yeah, half, Pillman. whatever. Brian Pillman, a grayed Brian out Pillman. rendering of the back of Brian Pillman's vest, which is the cross. So everyone knew it right away. It's yeah. it's the crazy Brian Pillman. It's not flying Brian Pillman. It's, it's Brian it's Pillman pulling with a gun on Austin yes. for breaking into his trailer Pillman. Well, that's kind of flannel Pillman, Pillman, but yeah, he's the same one who was in the Heart Foundation with a yeah. gun. Yeah. <laughs> I'm down for it, dude. Like me too. I I'm ready for zombies six inch figures. These are ones I'll actually get on. Like the retros are cool and all, but I just not into that that style of figure. Yeah, I, so, I and a lot of people aren't. It it takes a, a a serious wrestling collector who remembers those as kids, and I, I think the market is flooded with them now. You know, everyone's making them. Cella toys, well, fucking zombie yeah. sailor toys, and a bunch of it's, other like. Low. It's because they're they're cheap to make figure. Like basically, you mold, you fucking make hella parts in the mold, and you just snap them together. Right. Like that. Like Zombie Sailor actually put work in some of his because that Raven's his are got the best. Dude. Arms. His are yeah. the best. Although he did say he was gonna do magnet hands, but he did he went with pegs because it was cheaper. But yeah, I still they still fit well, you know, and, yeah. and so not a problem. But I, I do like the idea of magnet hands. I think that would yeah. be a higher class and be worth forty dollars a tiny figure. <laughs> well, that's like it. That's like fucking. Uh, There's certain Mezco figures that have the fucking magnet heads, like Batman. They gave him a, a magnet head. Uh, you got fucking Dark Side's magnet face. But isn't that so? The light up LED transfer, the electricity transfers through, or something like that. Um, I would think it's something to do with that, but I mean, the Batman has no lights. It's just got a oh, magnet. That, okay. So magnet. It makes it swap. How the fuck do they work? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, dude. This ain't science class. This is hood cast. <laughs> I'm going to put that on the shirt. Me <laughs> I didn't mean to cut you off, v town but it's I thought right. that was funny. Well, it is a funny joke because it's a juggalo joke. <laughs> <laughs> and juggalos don't know jokes. And I automatically <laughs> went to thinking that song. May third God in the pyramids. <laughs> That's why I say, you know, you got to get on the Patreon because you can hear all kinds of shit like that. Like we talk about the the whole horrorcore rap and everything like that on the Tex AF. 
Dude, we talk about so much different shit on the Patreon, not just action figures, but there is a lot of action figure shit on the Patreon for only $3. And look, $3. when you're when you're listening to this free show right now that we do, you're basically yeah. stealing from us. You know, it's it's kind of like Oh, I never thought of it like that. Yeah, like cuz we we're, we're not doing this, I mean, we're doing this out of the greatness of our hearts cuz we love the hobby and everything. We love talking about it, but still help us out and pay the $3. You're stealing from us. It's like we squeegeed your window. And then, like, you just drove, drove off. off, you know? I like, mean, you, yeah. you didn't even pay a ninja. And I meant ninja because it's probably a juggalo. And you know you know when the juggalo squeegees his window? Do you know what sound it makes? Whoop, whoop, whoop. <laughs> <laughs> whoop, whoop. I'm about to. But I mean, you gotta have the drum sound on that the one. The least dude. you can fucking do if you don't want to buy the Patreon is share the fucking podcast when it pops you guys up. Wanna hear some shit Pass funny, us bro. around. You want to hear some shit funny, right? So I go to listen to this uh, last Patreon episode. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, okay, I want to hear it. So I click on the, the Patreon. It says me to the Patreon. The menu it was really funny because on the top, broke ass neck of tour, tier. $3, yep. $3. And then it goes, then I started scrolling. I didn't realize, I thought that was the only tier. Man, no, there's, there's a tiers. fifteen dollar tier, man. Yep. Oh, no, we're just asking for three. <laughs> Not tree fitty. <laughs> About tree fitty. Nah, but three dollars. Yeah. And you get all month to listen to everything if you want. You can do one month listen I mean, to everything and be done. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I mean, there is the thing of uh, sure you could uh, pay a little more and you get a little more uh, benefits get, like hoodie. t shirt, fucking yeah. hoodie. Yeah. Look, it's so, funny I mean, how like a lot of our podcasts shit, went to ads for the Patreon because that's how we make money. <laughs> that's how we're trying to eat, baby. Look, it's not like you, you know you can also go to hoodcastaf.com and hit that merch link and, and buy some shirts too. But yeah. you know, I rather you do the Patreon. But yes, support the shirt and wear a Hoodcast shirt in real life and tell them, tell those other action figures when you're when you're ganking shit, bipping straight bipping out of people's carts. For that chase figure and go, yo, Hoodcast sent me. And read the shirt, motherfucker. Moving on with the news. Marvel Legends. And a lot of people are Marvel Legends collectors. We all are. And even our listeners are. And 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 to those people I say, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I am too. Because I mean I own so many Marvel Legends and I want to get out. It's like an addiction. It's like crack, dude. It's but like now crack. they got at the point of ridiculousness where you're like <laughs> yeah, I want out with the superpowers yeah, two pack. Too, man. Hi superpowers and Doctor whatever the oh, fuck you're talking like. about. Uh, Squadron Supreme two pack. Squadron Supreme, yeah. So I that's yeah. Spectrum and then there's Spectrum. Spe Spe yeah. Spectrum, yeah. Spectrum and Hyperion. Yeah. He just looks like an unpainted Spider-Man that's still like a <laughs> a, a multicolored it's, fucking it's sample. An, it's an old buck with pins. And then Hyperion has no waist swivel, but like a huge waist connecting and into no his diaper. Neck, right? Yeah. yeah. He, he looks like what he's, he's taking got shit. big shoulders, dude. Yeah, he looks like he's taking his shit. Yeah. I, mean, I don't see a lot of people buying this because I don't know if a lot of people know who the Squadron Supreme is. I never fucking heard of them. Like, I, I know I think who I've they are. I've heard of them, but I don't know who they are. So when, when Hydra took over the United States of America and the United States was in like a state of disrepair, it was like just like we took over this shit. This sucks. We need like an Avengers team, and the Avengers are kind of nothing right now because they they beat the shit out of them. And yeah. so Mephisto creates this team called the the Squadron Supreme, and you know he wants payment for it and all this shit. Like so, he creates this team, and they become like the Avengers or the the sanctioned group of the Hydra states of America, or whatever they okay. called it, and. They, they kind of work out well, but then, like, I, don't know, I forget who it was, but they they take this Earth, 616, and put it in a different Earth where Avengers didn't exist and all this crazy stuff. But, yeah, they're, they're kind of like Vought, Super 7, you know, not Super I 7. I always thought Vought fucking 7. Hyperion was fucking Sentry, like, before Sentry became Sentry. I don't know that much about the characters. I just know they were created by Mephisto and stuff. Because I know Sentry is a Hyperion warrior, which is like a fucking a rip off of Krypton. Yeah, Isn't he's, Hyperion yeah. just supposed to be a basically uh, he's Superman. He's Superman hip. Rip yeah. Off? yeah, 
Yeah. He's he's basically fucking. And that's what century is. Homelander. Yeah. He's, yeah. The whole idea is an early fucking Vought Seven. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure that's where the boys got their idea, but made it darker and all this stuff. You know, it's not like they were invented by Satan himself. Well, I'm know. pretty sure Garth Ennis was like, because Garth Ennis hates mainstream comics, so I'm pretty sure he was like, you know what, dude? Yeah. What if fucking so and so was yeah, and then he made Vaught instead of fucking Stark or was think, Reed Richards fucking do you think, Academy? Uh, Garth Enos, like he made all these evil yeah. comics where evil things happened because like as a kid he was tortured for his last name. Fucking Maybe because I mean Enos his last name is Enos, right. Enos the penis. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah, I was about to say his name was and he's bald. Funny, bro. Right. And he's bald. If your last and name he is looks Enos, like a penis. Yeah. Enos? Bro, you got it hard in school, bro. If your last name was Enos. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it would explain Yo, why he's it would explain draw, why he's draw made me something. Some Don't draw a shit. penis. Yeah. What's what's going through the fucked up shit of Enos? Yeah. He had he had the dicks, and then he had wee sized dicks, and then he had fucking the crossed. Yeah, the stitched. Cross, I love cross, stitched. Fucking, right. there's this other one, Dan the Unharmable, which is like this old seventies guy. Kind of reminds me of, like the way the character acts in the book is like your Uncle Dave. See, I think if Enos could not draw, he would have shot up at school. <laughs> Yeah. He would have been a school shooter, but Yo, since he has an outlet, he would have been like, "Eat my Enos, you motherfucker." <laughs> he's a writer. He's not a drawer. He's a writer. Yeah. Oh, he's a writer. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, he, he had some sort then, of skill. He always works with like uh, the same couple of guys, because I mean, his fucking he hates boys. Is basically he hated fucking working for Marvel or DC. So I'm sorry, much. I got my Enoses confused. Yeah. <laughs> well, don't worry. That Enos has been everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> Until he uh, decided to use his own Enos and make his own books. No, <laughs> but but now that that's a popular Enos, man. Yeah, he's a very popular. All he draws Enos. is Enos's. <laughs> literally, he does. <laughs> literally, like, like everything he right. draws yeah. is an Enos. And if yeah, and if it's fucking you read dicks, it's fucking all Enos <laughs> all the time. <laughs> uh, next up, Mezco. So they showed off again. Their Lord of Tears Owlman, which may be shipping sucked. soon. It, I don't know. It's it's it no, nah, it comes out in December. Okay. Well no, now now it's next December. Okay, whatever. Because they don't think anybody's gonna buy it. And honestly, why would you buy it? Well, knowing Mezco it, and how long it takes them to get licensed IPs yeah. out, you know, and especially for a, a Poe Dirt fucking horror movie that, that is not that good. It's a creepy pasta. It's not even a real fucking horror movie, dude. It's like a creepy pasta short that they made into another short film that was longer. Called Lord of Tears, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. I watched the, the, the actual film release and I was not impressed. But I kind of like the Owl Man, but the film was just stupid. The figure looks stupid. Like the it looks like the shittiest mold for the owl head. Like, you know, they're just throwing it out there for a cash grab because Mesco, if they really wanted to do it, you, there'd be some feathering, some real feathers. Like it would make more sense to make an actual feathered head. Yeah, for the owl man. Cost a lot more, but yeah, I don't know. Maybe you like the plastic fucking molded owl head. Kind of just looks like a, a Chewbacca that's been rammed up an asshole and then loot heated up and but then look, rammed back up an asshole. I I can see that the photography with the owl man and all the horror people out there doing some great photography with this that just would be not much much, much scarier than owl the movie man shit, bro. he looks like a fucking mascot for a fucking triple a minor league I don't, team. I don't know what owl man is what it's from this movie is? called lord of tears basically yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's or, basically, originally a creepy pasta tale okay yeah which it's, is it's internet a guy thing and he's an owl like there's like a he's got a human body but an owl head and owl hands okay and but but I mean, and some he's, of the other he's based off know. old mythology, like and especially like with aliens. You know, uh, when you get alien abducted, sometimes they you, you see an owl instead of an alien. They 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 fuck with your mind with telekinesis, and you see an owl instead of aliens. Has to do with kind of that, but not he's at all. Based, but that's I would it think comes he's from. based more of Bohemian Grove. That because too, he's yes. got an altar that says Alt Moloch. Moloch is the yeah. owl god at the fucking Bohemian they Grove. They burn that shit, Bo yeah. Bohemian Grove, they have the human sacrifices to the, the owl god Moloch. 
So yeah. basically, I think the creepy pasta was an interpretation of like an actual. I'll take it one further, theories. and I'll go look. All ancient things are based on ancient aliens. So the right. great god of Moloch aliens, is based man. off a of fucking alien, dude. Aliens, that that lives on the fucking uh, Anunnaki or no, no, no. They are yeah. Anunnaki. Yes. Look, yeah. um, they live on Nibir Nibiris. Nibiru. Nibiru, yeah. Nibiru is a, is a planet that has a it's larger planet. fucking yeah. orbit than anything else that we know. And, and only it only comes, comes around, around like every 10 grand. Yeah. And it just yeah. came by recently, you know, within the last couple of years, I think. And then they got an Owlman figure now. Yeah. <laughs> uh, ancient <laughs> action figure Nibiru. theorists action say figure. yes. Yeah. The only thing I want from it is this fucking yeah. altar. I'm like, the figure to me, I'm like, I would fucking put different arms on it because it's clearly the Frankenstein buck we used. So there's not going to be double jointed elbows. It's going to have very restricted movement in the arms and it literally looks like if I was to get it I could probably swap out Frankenstein's arms and his fucking head on it. Is this altar made of like mouse bones and shit and food and shoestring like hobo chili. Nah, dude it's just like a fucked up little makeup desk with candles on it oh. that says moloch i'm like it'll just be good for some photography because yeah. i'm really good at putting people in chairs i think isn't that that ceremony supposedly according to alex jones here but here's the deal people i snuck in there uh yeah. which he swear he did he did. That shit was uh, here in California, right? Yeah, yeah, it's up in Santa Rosa. Yep. Yeah. It's uh, on the same road to go to Bohemian Grove. You pass five church camps, a California Youth Authority camp. It's really blown like, up more than it is. It's not like, that's 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 that big of a thing. That's they sacrifice. Like, they blew it it's, up way more than what it is. It's 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 a bunch of stupid-ass hippies hanging out and, like, thinking they, things are greater and having something to nah, do. It's the, it's a bunch of dudes grabbing butt. <laughs> kind of like it's probably like clampers. They ain't grab ass, dudes. bro. It's just a bunch of dudes getting grabbed ass. Grab in ass in the touchy filly, bro. <laughs> yeah. A bunch of enuses, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Just anything about, dude. Just gripping your enus. What's up, Yo, my enus? Yo, Yo, I'm not I'm not gonna front, bro. When that season comes around, that's the best fucking you know how they say Christmas time is good for the toys or for yeah. dick delivering. Then when when that enus party comes around, yeah. I make a killing, boy. I've been to a lot of enus parties, man. It's hard to work. I can it, imagine, dude. bro. I stand at I, the kitchen and guard the beer. That's what I do, dude. I try to get a job as a cook out there because uh, it's like fucking twenty grand for two weeks, and you have to sign an NDA where you can't say anything about not about what goes enuses. on there. Yeah. Yeah, so so you can't say anything about the enusing because you got Arnie yeah. enusing. Well, don't say enusing. You will be Obama enusing a George W. Bush. Well, shit, yeah. you just <laughs> fucked up, dude. Like they're all running around. Moloch's gonna come after you running. and all his enus followers. Dude, I live in Texas, dude. I live in the shit ass end of the Bible Belt. Yeah, you think the fucking Baptists are gonna let those yeah. motherfuckers cross over? I don't know who enus likes owls, real, man. Bro. Owls are bitches. They're like the bitches of the birds. They're I mean, not the smart birds. I mean, they're smart, you're but out like of your mind, bro. Owls are the illest killers. What's, of the what's that old guy say on fucking? Uh, Owls uh, can see it? at night. They can fucking swoop down and without even being heard. Um, and get a mouse and be out, man. That, yeah, but I don't get to see owls, bro. They only eat meat. I only they're seen killers. an owl when I was in like grade school when they brought an owl in in daytime. Does you ever have to dissect an owl and you rebuild the skeleton? They can swivel their heads pretty much. Not completely 360 around, but yeah. almost to the point where it does go all the way around and then go come back. One time, um, so, like I, a rotary phone. I was in Aspen, mm -hmm. and uh, me and my buddy, we went to like this this banquet or whatever, and like they had some snow owls in in a cage for like a benefit or something like that, and and uh, we popped the top of a champagne cork, and it killed one of the snow owls. <laughs> yeah, it was called Mike and Miker. <laughs> <laughs> True story. Yeah. And then, True uh, story. One, yeah. of, one of them shit like fiercely somewhere, and, and, then, yeah. and then like I didn't, I didn't get a gun, so I don't know how that. Uh, like, so you're saying there's a chance? No, I, I uh, you know, desperately just want to make love to a schoolboy. That's that's what it is. <laughs> uh, Where is the bell? Do you have a bell near you? Yeah, there you go. let's move on. Yeah. Executive Replicas. Now get this. This is the company 
I, I've never heard of them before. Executive replicas. They have a six-inch Rocketeer, but this is the comic version of Rocketeer. It looks dope. Not the Disney version. It comes with Betty, Betty Page, or his girlfriend was always called Betty. And like, if you know the old Rocketeer comic books and, and like the poster arts and stuff like that, the pinups, he was always with a Betty Page kind of drawing yeah. look like because she's wearing the bikini and the the polka dots like that shit looks dope though dude i do like it here's the thing though it's basically marvel legends you know yeah. and yeah he comes like with removable mask and blast effects and a pistol and hands and different face but betty comes with nothing just the figure yeah she's in a bikini dude but she's hot she's great I want She's the Betty. She's a pinup girl. She's pinup Betty, dude. And I think that's great. But the two pack is one hundred forty five dollars on Oi, ouch, Big I'm Bad not, Toy nah, Stores. Nah, it's yes. cool, but it's not that cool. That's the problem. Like, Hello there. I I would right. love to have a Betty Page like articulate figure. But no, yeah. not for that price, dude. Not for a six inch Marvel Legends fucking thing. There's no fucking way. And even like. That you get it like a bonus fucking you know Rocketeer figure from the comic books, not the shitty Disney movie where yeah. the, the original script well, the- was supposed to have a sexy Betty Page, but instead they got uh, what's her name from the Labyrinth and shit, you know, to play Jenny, not Betty, who yeah, still has an but I mean, attitude. It wasn't, but- it wasn't that bad. Like the movie was still, it still had your Nazis because that's what they fought. Like it was still a pretty cool movie. I, I fucking. But the comic strip was way more crazy violent, dude. Like, the comic strip wasn't fucking around. I never read so. it. But I, I do know that they have been trying for many years, trying to make another movie with a Betty Page kind of character in it to represent yeah. the, the old stuff. Can you imagine if, like, uh, what's his name, who did uh, the director of RoboCop and, and Starship Troopers, if he did that kind of stylized version of the Rocketeer, with like the old school commercials, but instead it's like wartime fucking Betty Page pinup prints and stuff like that. Yeah. With the Rocketeer. I forget that that director's name, but he's he's fucking all his movies are great. You know, they're all that kind of Robocop fucking uh Um uh, Var- Paul Verhoeven or whatever. Yeah, Paul Verhoeven. Yes. Yeah. And all his films like, are they're not accident films, but like it's like things that happen on the film he's like all right well let's film this for filler and the filler is what makes it fucking great and then he you know did what that for other... starship troopers you want to know what his greatest movie was mm. big money hustlers he didn't actually direct that though yeah he did barely he yeah no he fucking directed it dude there's a behind the scenes thing dude really like he literally yeah like he the, the icp film that that dude that shit sucks so bad and then he went on and made resident evil after that he made resident evil the first film yeah that's why it's that's good, why it I good. Guess. yeah <laughs> i mean it doesn't hold up in time it's still all right but well, I- that's because they made like 17 more of those fucking movies <laughs> so by the time you're like what the f-? you just give up you're like the first couple of them are watchable no, like, but the first the, one the, was cool with Michelle yeah, Rodriguez. Was cool. was Mike Epps was dope as fuck. You, the, the one with Mike Epps is good. That yeah. had Nemesis. Yeah. And that was one thing that people wanted to see hella bad. Yeah, I just And then like the it. third one was just like Las <laughs> Vegas one or whatever. Yeah. And, and then the fourth one was. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's, it's, all, like, I mean, it's all just action from Mila Hohovich. Yeah, dude. And then you see her in Monster Hunter, and it's like the same movie. <laughs> Moffex! So they showed off their uh, Captain America and Winter Soldier from. The movie Captain America and Winter Soldier. In Dope. so it's Captain America in a stealth suit and and Bucky Barnes in his with his metallic arm and stuff. Multiple Long face. Hair. But they just showed the pictures of these. So you see what you get, stealth shield, the non stealth shield, <laughs> bunch of cool yeah. shit. They look fucking awesome, man. Dude, that Bucky is sick as fuck. Dude. It's one of the like, best Bucky's I've seen. I I was trying not to urge like I don't need another Captain America because I think I have an SH. I have a hot toy, right? And then I have the May effect or Mesco. So I'm like, I don't need another cat, but I really need a Bucky. Like I settled for that shitty one from the last movie that came out, 
like he has like the the gold hi- uh, highlights on his fucking black arm, black metal arm. Yeah, man, his I Wakanda arm. Okay, the Wakanda he wears stupid okay, yeah, vest yeah. and his and his dumbass haircut. Right. Like, so I you got the MCU version. It. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Like I would rather have the the that one. That shit is sick. It is fucking dope, and I think Moth X is is. One of the companies of like the past couple years, they've really stepped up the game on what they're doing. Whether it's past IPs, but I mean, because this is like, how old is this film? It's really old by now. It's pretty fucking old. But I mean, they're also doing uh, Batman, Dark Knight, or was it Batman Begins? Fucking, or is it Dark Knight Batman again? They're redoing him again too. Yeah, they redo a lot of their figures, which is cool. You know, so you get yeah. updated shit, which is well, so they re-release their stuff with updated shit, which makes them look better. Yeah. And the cool thing about it is they get better on their fucking uh, articulation and shit. Yeah, they use like the earlier Mescos or May Effects were loose as fuck. Yeah, dude. they sucked. Their joints like, were crap. Yeah, dude, you had to put a little nail polish remover or some sort of lacquer on them just so they didn't fucking. But just from the few Mafexes that I have. You know, from recent stuff and recent IPs like the Homelander and stuff, I'm like, this shit is badass. Yeah. All the parts fit in perfectly. They're the joints are stiff but movable. Like this is great. Yeah. I I love it. You know, I've finally seen a loose Spider Man in hand. You have, uh, yeah, like at the fucking toy store out here because he has a Lucy that somebody was trying to sell, and I was fucking around with it. I don't like it. I like. I like what Hasbro's doing with their Spider Man that came out with like the two pack or the anniversary edition, like with the new ball chest system and stuff. Yeah, I like them. I I think the Spinneret Spider Man, right? I love the Spinneret Spider Man. I think it's great for the price. Dude, it's great. Like to me, Hasbro has fucking Spider Man down, dude. Like that's like their fucking meal ticket. They're like Spider Man and Wolverine, dude. It's definitely worth the money. Like if you don't want to yeah. pay high prices of a Moff X or anything else that has weird joints and shit that joints that don't look good in photos. But you and can now they're them. adding webs and shit too, just yes, like Moff X. They have webs, extra hands, so you can change your hands, so you can get different poses. And they got the butterfly like. They're doing hella good for like thirty five bucks, and even with like, like rising prices, like it's still worth it rather than paying yeah. the high price of like one Mafex or a yeah. SH Fig Arts or something. Because Mafex recently, dude, they're gone up. Like Mafex's average was like a eighty five to ninety five dollar figure, right? And they slowly moved to a hundred dollar figure. So now they're about averaging like one oh five to one fifteen but that's also because their Summer technology got better dude yeah like and and like, people are now noticing them like normal collectors who collect marvel legends and that's it or, or you know other stuff like uh store-bought stuff and now they're going oh what's this mafex mate what's this yeah. mafex company well no, i gotta what get they're a doing mafex is, didn't what, didn't what, you guys try to get me to get the mafex uh robin no was that was mesco mesco, mesco. mesco. Okay. you need but a I mesco mean, dude you know why they switched? Ooh, excuse me, guys. You know why they switched to Mafex because they listen to shows like Hoodcast AF where we constantly talk about Mafex, right? And uh, like, I remember for for hella shows, like I was like, "Why pay the scalper price when you could just go buy a premium figure?" Right. I think a lot of people are getting on that kick. And even though they have an Oni Braunschweiger figure coming out. And I think it's already out. I don't know. But I'm there and I'm killing people. I'm killing all the figures. It doesn't matter. But I kill them and I don't care. They're terminated. All right, yes. Arnie, Arnie. Arnie, shut off. They do. Arnie. They do have the Terminator 2 judgment. You can't tell day, me Arnie. to shut off. You have to say terminate and then that will shut down. That's a different thing. And then I give you the thumbs up as I slowly, slowly go down <laughs> into the. Terminate. Say terminate. Terminate. Three, 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 three. Okay, great, great job, Arnie. But, but yeah, they do got that Arnie coming out, dude. That yeah. fucking T eight hundred from Judgment Day. I mean, and, and like, if you don't need a seven seven inch version by by NECA that you can get readily, easily, pretty much. I mean, and you need one yeah. to scale up with your Marvel Legends. Yeah, good choice. Yeah, I don't though. It looks it looks dope. I I'm just not super big on the Term- Terminator. I like as a movie. It's just not something I collect. Yeah, and it's but. If I am going to have it, it's going to be the seven-inch version to go ri- with like the Robocops and the NECA stuff that I have. That I'm not so much n- needed the uh, articulation. I want the detail, which yeah, NECA provides. 
Well, no. Well, three zero. Three zero has a really good uh, one twelve scale uh, Arnie from the newer movie, Old Man Arnie Terminator. Looks pretty dope. Hey, speaking like of that, bucks. three zero. <laughs> so, yeah. other than the Terminator that you were talking about, they showed off their uh, Marvel Deluxe Iron Man Mach Seven, which is, I think, the Iron Man from two or one or whatever. It's it's the original Iron Man, uh, not the one that he builds in like you know the the, the cave uh, the, the cave, cave. Nah. with the it's got to be the Bakalakis. the second one he makes. It's well, it's 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 Mark Seven is is the version. So I'm, I'm not sure. Yeah, which so I think that that's got to be like the the first or the beginning, early second movie. And yeah. if you know me, I love the Three Zeros Iron Man. That he goes uh, get Whiplash against Whiplash. Right? Is that yeah. the Mark Seven? I don't. That might be no. no that's the suitcase that's part three. One. Yeah, that's different. This is like no, Iron that's, Man Two, that, maybe. That is part two. Iron Man Two is the briefcase one where he fights Whiplash at the the car at the track. Indy racing. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. I thought that was part three. I wasn't sure, but uh, still, it's it's six six point nine inches, which is scales better with your Marvel Legends rather than a, a Marvel Legends Iron Man because there's no way. And a Robert Downey Jr. figure can fit in that Iron Man, so the three zero one works perfectly for being six point nine inches and forty eight points of articulation. Holy shit! And die casts over fucking PVC plastic and shit like that. Yeah, dude. And I I love the waist, not the swivels, but the articulation of of the waist that like how it yeah. bends and each armor piece bends with it. Now it it doesn't bend like Spider Man. But it's weird seeing all these little metal pieces bend with you. Like, it's, it's fucking amazing. And plus the LED light-ups in the head, the chest. Yeah. Like, dude, it's like a mini hot toy. And at, like, 89 bucks, you can't beat it. But yeah. I do have one thing to say. And it's recently with one of my Iron Man that I was, you know, posting some, like, red and gold 49er pictures with my Iron Man. You know, putting did, the stupid, like... Fall? minor hat no it did not fall i tried to turn on the light again in his head and the button meshed in and ruined the whole fucking light up thing in his fucking head like the button's gone meshed in it flew out somewhere and like the whole plastic piece crumbled you know when you take off his skull dome on the top of his head yeah you slide it out yeah. like a battery no, case. it's that tiny ass button it's like right yep. between the eyes yeah dude it's a tiny button you have to use like a toothpick or something to, to yeah, push, push don't it. bite your fingernails because you're going to need a fingernail, like a Coke nail, to press that button in. Well, I didn't have yeah. one, and so I used my fat sausage things, and, dude, I just destroyed it. It just crumbled <laughs> out of nowhere. I'm like, dude, I've only pressed this you button like <laughs> four or five times in my life, and now it's yeah. fucking destroyed. But, you know, I, I'm like, okay, that's the battery parts plastic that holds the batteries in, in three zero are bad that's my gripe mm -hmm. about them the chess yeah. piece is still good it still works you just, you just can't be a clumsy motherfucker i wasn't a clumsy motherfucker dude i was dude i use the, the the when i pull off his shell cap when i do pictures when i light him up is i pull off that little shell of his head yeah and then i use the edge of that and i push the button oh that's a good plan but dude, because I don't have fingernails, and it fucking gets there, and it doesn't push too hard. I didn't you push barely that have hard. To push it. It just yeah. crumbled out of nowhere. I don't know what it was. Because it's, it's just barely hanging. Can turn on. It's light. barely hanging on there. The, I tried the to little thing, it. Because where the button is, it's barely hanging on there. There's like a little wire that's holding it. Like it's not even mounted in. It just seems like it's bent on the wire, and it's got two little tiny plastic clasps. So if it breaks, you're fucked. They need to yeah. make that button a little. Pressier, like a, a bigger fucking button uh -huh. to just make it they easier. You need to make dude. a switch. Make a yeah. switch button. Yeah. Pressier, my brother. You yeah. know, look, I love the figures, but that's my only gripe. I'd still I'm still a customer. I love I love I love three zero. But you yeah. know, moving on to SH Fig Arts. So with all the hype of Spider Man No Way Home and all the Andrew Garfield's Toby Grace or whatever the fuck his name is and everyone else. Uh, yeah. All these Spider-Mans coming out. Well, right. well, S.H. Figgart <laughs> said that their Amazing Spider-Man Andrew Gar Garfield is canceled due because, to yeah, likeness it, issues. Yeah. Which is, the, the whole figure is not actually canceled. Just give me the fucking Spider-Man. Fuck his head. The face I mean, is now cool not it. available. 
They're going to yeah, get yeah. rid of the face because of likeness issues. So says the creator. <sighs> And they're just going to include, like, just normal mass heads and add some extra hands. And the price will be cheaper now. So, but yeah. they canceled everyone's pre-orders for the Andrew Garfields. Yeah. And now you have to re-pre-order. Ah. And also, the uh, Tobey Maguire has been pushed back to March. So, Tobey Maguire, Spider-Man, might follow the same suit. That's the only one I want is the Tobey Maguire one. Yeah, I I had pre-ordered all three of them, but now I'm like, nah, I don't fuck that, dude. Because I wanted to do a fucking, I want to swap the fucking heads out, like for other shit, other people's heads. Well, dude, you know, just Marvel buy a Toby. Makes, well, just buy a Toby McGuire head off online, or have someone print it, and I'll pay in it. Uh, dude. I could probably, I could, I could probably have Steam Power to make me one. Yeah, like, or send it to me, dude. I'll paint it and, and send it to you, like you know. Free. Yeah. Like, even the Unworthy Collector asked me to, you know, he, he's looking for a Harrison Ford head, you know, and then, like, he's like, everyone wants, like, 60 bucks to paint it. I'm like, that's that's the normal going price for a painted yeah. fucking sculpted head. Like, I'll, I'll paint it for free and just send it to you, man. Just, just send yeah. me the shipping or something. You know, it's easy. And, look, if you guys want something painted, like, that's, like, a little head or something, I, you know, y'all listeners to the show and, you, and you, you, you join the Patreon, you can show me. Dude. I, I yeah, I fucking paint here, you some here, shit. You pay for the page, Ron. He'll paint your head. He'll give you, he, <laughs> I'll paint, he'll your paint enus. you a little head. He'll paint you a little enus. <laughs> <laughs> Look, you don't need to paint a Darth Vader helmet. It's already black, right? <laughs> <laughs> it goes whoop whoop. Ding. <laughs> it's uh, squeegeeing your windshield. Whoop whoop. Uh, that's it for news. Let's move on to recent acquisitions. I think a discount girl, you gonna give it to me. Walmart employee, target team member. Give me that shit, give me your phone number. Call me later when it's in stock, yo. We got that Casey Raft 2 pack. Gonna sell it to you out the motherfucking bag. Cause you hood gas for life. Gonna be there. Recent acquisition, what we picked up this week. Man, thinking about that recent acquisition song, and I know it needs to be updated, but I don't right. know what song that is based. That's a real song that I overdubbed over it. I don't know what song that is from. Yeah. I have no, I did it on a rap chat, and I was like, ah, just use this. <laughs> you just random rat chat shit. And we've been using it forever, you know. We can yeah. use the new recent acquisitions, but why not? Yeah. It's got it's gotta yeah. be good, you know? And if anyone wants to make one, send it to uh Hoodcast somehow. Uh just go to hoodcastaf.com and, and you know, there's some link there where you can message us and you know, figure out how to send it to us. I don't know. Just message me and then I'll I'll, I'll tell you how. Tony to Toy it. says it's still dope. Well, it's outdated. <laughs> it is because we need to bring it back for th- throwback thursdays we'll call it a throwback thursday for right now because <laughs> we're recording on thursday but this is recent <laughs> acquisitions what we picked up this week yo cobra what'd you pick up this week man i am on that broadcast neck a tor- tier for real nothing. guys let me help you yeah. <laughs> Stupid! You're so stupid! You get nothing! That's easy, you man. Lose. It look, it's Good a staple. Day, sir. It's a staple. It's a staple, man. That, that's what happens, you know? Yeah. Yes, you get nothing. You are just a puny man. That's what you do. You sit there, you get nothing. You don't even make any money. Even though you live in California, you should be rich like everyone else. I don't know what you're doing. I could kill you. I would kill you now. All right, Arnie. Arnie, Arnie terminate. Yeah. Terminate. Yeah. It's hard to turn off the Arnie. Yo, Mikey, you pick up anything? I got my Kanye head in the mail. I've and seen all your with, pictures, man. It came with a Joker head that would fit like a McFarlane because it's about the scale for McFarlane, which is classic killing joke Joker. And where'd you get your Kanye head from? I got my Kanye from Steam Powered Mum. Over at the Highly Posable Podcast, he hooked me up. And then he gave me a Mr. Clean with his head bashed in. Mr. Clean? Who's Mr. Clean? 
So I got a bald guy. Like, like, with like, an ear, like Mr. Clean, Mr. Mr. Clean. Clean. Yeah, yeah. So it looks like Mr. Clean with the side of his head bashed in. So now I'm going to put that body on the old man Logan body. Wait, why is his head and, bashed in? Was it an accident? No, it, it's a purposely done. Oh, okay. It's not like he got into like, a fight with an enus. No, he got his ass whooped and he got fucked up on the side. He got his side of his head. Or the printing, the printer kind of fucked up, so he painted it like his head got. Nah, it's in. actually a bad batch figure. He oh. used the, the head oh. skull from a bad, from a bad batch dude, and he just kind of painted it looks like blood. So it looks it like must be a wrecker, the the bigger guy, or whatever. His yeah, name is. it kind of looks like Zandig. So and this is about scale for like you know a Jazzware body. So I might actually make a Zandig figure. Because it's got its ear pierced and it's got, already got blood, so I can put a little more on there. Did Zandig, good. Zandig's from CZW, who owns CZW, who CZW is for sale right now, and there is buyers he, for CZW right now. Zandig's back, dude. Oh, because he Works had that whole he had that whole feud with the um, Slack. Yes, at the uh, Peking uh, fucking eatery or like the buffet. You're at the Peking buffet, motherfucker. Yeah. Ah. They had like an interview or not an interview, but a promo at the Peking buffet and Zandig's no, coming so, out of the buffet, right? No, so basically during uh, this weekend where they had a weekend of death out there in Jersey had XPW, they also had a Zandig dinner. Where people pay money to go to the Peking buffet oh, okay. and have dinner that. with Zandig. That's, That's cool. Crazy. And then Schlack went in there because uh, Zandig wait, wait, wait. pretty sure is going to. People who went to the Peking, did they start at lunch and stay throughout dinner and eating? You know, I don't know. <laughs> it, it, it looks slowly. like they got a. It looks like. And they then got the a Asian people are like, there. "You, you must leave now. You have to go. You, you have to There's pay." There's a little back room. There, there is a little back room area where they show them. You see other families sitting around, and then Schlack just walks in. And he, fucking sits down and starts eating some french fries and spits water in zandig's face because he says no sh no zandig only schlack so schlack is an indie wrestler explain schlack to the people who only watched wwe or know of wrestling schlack, schlack is there's no god there's only schlack schlack is like this tattooed muscle-bound midget that you would think wolverine dragon he's like was all about he's like right george there. costanza stocky but like yeah. huge mohawk tattoos everywhere and just does death matches and bleeds like a motherfucker and uh yeah so there i think he's going to be on the next xpw show in la he has he's to gonna be right i think zandig's going to team up with maga butcher i just think the whole peking buffet is fucking hilarious yeah it's so because cool the, <laughs> especially because slack dries off and he's like I know you are at the Peking fucking buffet. <laughs> he drives off in a beat up ass little pickup truck. <laughs> I didn't know <laughs> Schlack could drive. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Uh, but uh, I recently got in the mail because I haven't been to any stores recently, really. And I'm trying to curtail my spending like all collectors are now in this age because, you know, look, we got to pay taxes. We got to pay the bills. We got to pay these egg prices because everyone wants to eat an egg. I mean, Easter's going to come up and then we're fucked. You know, we're all fucked. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, but I got my uh, Mezco Cousin Eddie and Bella Forever figure in. And have I opened it? No. Just like I haven't opened my 112 or Union 112 Gomez. I still haven't opened that either. Dude, my butthole is just a mess right now. It's just blown open wide. I, you know, shit is everywhere. So I don't know what to do. I'm trying to do all these wrestling shots and... You know, I want to incorporate some of these Mezco characters into my crowd shots that I do. And now that I've upped my game with figure photography with, like, the stupid mist sprayer thing that you get on, like, Amazon. It's a face <laughs> facial sprayer that uh, mm -hmm. I think Tony Toybox opened us up to it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And even um, a Toy Art Unlimited Matt. Uh, mm -hmm. A couple of those guys said, like, yeah, these things are dope. And they're, like, seven bucks or whatever. You can get a two-pack for, like, fucking... $12, 12 dollars 12.99 right. or something like that right. they fucking work it's it's just basically a vape you know ionization with the fucking thing yeah coil in it you know so you could use a vape if you do vape but you have to constantly suck and blow so i'm not a i'm not an enus so i can't do that <laughs> but you're pretty used to that in your bottle yeah no i i think just cobra stories i have to do that a lot it's weird <laughs> on the patreon <laughs> on the patreon uh but yeah I, I think it's a dope figure, and I've seen everyone else's shots. 
I can't wait to open it, but I want to open another figure. Just and have resell another. him, dude. He's going for like two forty now. Really? Yeah. Because I already have the first cousin Eddie. I I don't. Yeah, he like he's going for fucking fat prices right now. Let me dude. T- let me tell you, I only care about the clothing. I don't give a fuck about the Bella dog. I don't. I don't yeah. care about the fucking dog. Like fucking uh. Mad just paid like I think two forty for his two twenty two forty, dude. Really? Like he's already doubled in price. You just sell them, dude. You already have a cousin Eddie, dude. I do. If you want different clothes, you could just go online and buy clothes, and that way, it's yours, one of a kind, Eddie. Like that's what the that's what the purpose of those rumble societies are, man. Like the skulls and shit. To me, it's like. To me, it's just you customize your See, own fucking I, I figure. Wasn't, I was never down with the skulls. I thought they were cool with all the shit they come with, but it's like, dude, I don't need to buy four different skulls with a kind yeah. of slightly different head sculpt. I get yeah. it, but I'm not going to pay that You're, much. Like, I paid a lot for, are like... Mostly for the clothes. Right. So I paid a lot for the, uh, you know, the ones, like the warriors. So I got the baseball guys yeah. and two of the white warriors. They didn't include no black warriors. You know, I don't know why. Yeah. They didn't get the licensing. I don't get it, but yeah. still, how you can you're not going to make a six figure fucking thing of all the warriors. But I, mean, but I mean, like I used the black skull for Kanye's body. He's got the skinny jeans and the boots, and then I gave him a, a hoodie and shit from the vapor and the vest. Like that's basically what those Mezco personal IPs are, dude. It's like we're giving you a base figure now. Make your own figure. Like it sucks that he's blue because then you can't do like a normal person unless you repaint it, which is just too much work. Or you just put long sleeves on him and it's all good. Toy Art just joined us. He said, "What's up, ladies?" He's what talking up, to you, Cobra lady. Dad. Oh no, he's talking about to your wife. I, I don't know. Maybe, uh, maybe that's bingo. I don't fucking know. But uh, yeah, that's what we picked up this week. Let's move on to recent acquisitions. Wait. Uh, fuck, we just did recent acquisitions. I mean, uh. Good uh, job, Jackson. Right. The listener segment coming up with Read your gang. notes, Jackson Fallon. Look, dude, look. <laughs> I almost got called into work. I told him I was two uh, drinks deep. Going back to that. And look, that old I again, ain't eh? the uh, old John old, Fallon <laughs> who's think, drinking claws. Dude, that, that, now that I'm drinking bullet bourbon. Segment ago, bro. Yeah. So now that I'm, you know, I'm probably four drinks deep of bullet bourbon, this ain't some downtown fucking claw shit where i can just drink two claws and be fine go to work and drive and right. shit uh-uh nah 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 nah, nah. 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 no i gotta read my own notes fuck that nah <laughs> he's like is this what i was supposed to say <laughs> well let's do it coming up with the gang Wir kommen nachts mit der Gang, 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 nachts mit der Gang, wir kommen nachts mit der Gang, wir kommen nachts mit der Gang, wir kommen nachts mit der Gang. Is what they do worthwhile? Fuck no. Come on, man. 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 How are you finding all those different documents everywhere else? Nobody knows how that's happening. But look, look, you know how many documents from work I have at home that are like proprietary to the company? A fucking lot. And you know how many times I talk to rival companies? All fucking day because they're they're my old co-workers. So look, fuck the United States. This is how it works. Who cares? Who gives a shit? But if you want to come to the gang, it's easy to do. Use that hashtag HoodCastAF on all your action figure photography because it will be talked about on the Patreon, which is patreon.com forward slash HoodCastAF. And join that $3 tier, the broke-ass naked tier. What do you get with that? You get unlimited episodes of Hoodcast AF. You get Tex AF. You get the episode of Tex AF that we alluded to at the beginning of this show that was Really, uh, brutal, brutal, good, fire. Uh, brutal, brutal, I guess. I don't want to toot my own horn and blow smoke up my ass, but it got a little, little out there. But you know, it's got more, so much more, so much more. Also, go to hoodcastaf.com and on the side, side, on the right side, whether you're on your phone or on your PC, it says voice message. Hit that button, we will play it on the show. 
easy to do or leave a review and please do it on iTunes so we can counteract all our bad reviews because we get a lot because we're bad at what we do apparently. No, because people are fucking enuses out there and they <laughs> suck fucking enus, which we, we love Garth Enus. Like, I, I love all his books. I don't have them all, but I read a lot of uh, Cross books and fucking Punisher books. So, yep. you know, I might be an Enos lover. <laughs> <laughs> all he wants is the Enos. <laughs> but look, we got some voice messages to go through. But uh, I also want to introduce, we have Tony Tobox open today. What's up, players? And we also have Toy Art Unlimited. These are go-out guys from Instagram. What's up? How you What's doing? up, I think you're fun, my figure loving family. And if you know Say, these what? guys, they've both been on the Patreon. They've both been on episodes. And we got a lot more coming from everyone. So join that Patreon. Join that $3 broke ass necketeer, and you can get a lot more. It's cheaper than your shittiest, sugariest Starbucks coffee that you get every fucking day. And I'm tired of saying that. So just please do it. Cheaper than eight chicken nuggets from KFC. It, uh, yeah, it's cheaper than eggs, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cheaper than what was a 30 piece of fucking chicken I got today for eight bucks. Fuck. But uh, look, we got a voice message from hoodcastaf.com, and, and somebody hit that voice message button. This is from our girl, Lulu. Man, let's hear it, man. Oh, Lulu, my girl. Uh, Something's going on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. All right. Your girl, Lulu. My girl, Lulu. Our girl, Lulu. Hey, boys. It's your girl, Lulu, here. I just got back from Target, and I got to say, I'm very tight. I was approaching the wrestling figure section, and there's this guy there looking like through 20 AJ Styles, the young one. They're like $10 now. And right next to the AJ Styles was the Ultimate Ultimate Warrior, and that's what I was going to get. I'm going to say, what's up? But he just <laughs> gives me like a stink eye. And I'm like, excuse you? I got the ultimate warrior, and I'm like, let me let this be, because I'm a nice person, but don't fuck with me. I just got a prison. So oh, I just shit. moved on. But I'm saying, like, I've encountered this a lot. Like, collectors, like, 50, 50% of them have been touched. You know, oh, God bless what? them, but don't fuck with me. Oh, shit, anyway, let me bro. give a quick shout out. Hey, Steve Z. Holla, <laughs> player. All right, guys. Have a great day. You know what I love? The ultimate Ultimus warrior <laughs> dude it's like it's but he's not even the ultimate warrior he's uh the the dango warrior or whatever like it's the first ultimate warrior but it does right. come with the ultimate warrior head so you can is that the one with the porn mustache yes it's the dango warrior or whatever <laughs> oh maybe, when maybe, he used to be like the blade runners with sting yes <laughs> it's he's kind of like that but after that when he was in awa or whatever or other leagues and uh yeah He's uh, maybe the Dango H a baby, you know, uh, another Seinfeld <laughs> reference, but whatever. Uh, I love to hear from Lulu. We don't hear for her that often, but yeah, let's not burn out the character like uh, Bingo Bango. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is it me or Lulu used to have a deeper voice? Um, I know. I think that's just you because you're an Enos lover. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> the Enos uh, will do that to you. We got another call. It's from, uh, oh shit. It's from Arnie Brown Schwager. I don't know how he, I don't, look, the AI is so advanced now. I don't know how my Alexa that I renamed Arnie, Arnie Brown Schwager, and I don't know how he got a hold of, uh, <laughs> you know, our podcast site, hoodcastaf.com, and left the voice message, which is real easy on the right side of the screen. Uh, let's hear from Arnie Brown Schwager then. Nice. Hello, this is me, Annie Brown Swagger. You know this. You know you're listening to me because I am very good and I am good and I am better than Hoodcast. And you know what? I'm going to fuck the moon. And you know what Shit. happens when I fuck the moon? There's so much cheese in it. Just because it's all my semen and it's been built up for years, it gives the women the periods when it changes the oceans and things of this nature. <laughs> you don't understand this because I do. I fuck the moon. <laughs> Those are my cookies. Oh, and also, uh, Cobra Dad, let me tell you something. You're terminated. Oh, shit. Oh, damn. Dude. Does he have the power to do that? He's a fucking AI intelligence. Dude, he is a governor. Harsh words from Arnie Braunschweiger, you know, Very my harsh, AI dude. Alexa. 
So, you know, yeah. look, what he says goes, I guess. I, I don't know. I, like, I have no control over him. He, he's been taking over my whole life. Every time I ever say Arnie, like, even Brown Schwager, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You need to shut up. I control Hoodcast now. I am Arnie Brown Schwager. Yes, put my cookies down. Put that down. Put down the microphone. I am control of Hoodcast right now. And goes, Cobra Dad, you're terminated. And now I take over. Yes, if it complains, we can kill it. Shut up, Arnie Brown Schwager. Terminate. Turn off. Okay. All right. Okay. Yeah. We got that done. Thank God. All right. Um, yeah, our guests have left because, yep. you know, to break the fourth wall or the fourth meal, yeah. Taco Bell. Uh, <laughs> fourth. <laughs> the uh, card on my recorder was not recording. So, yes, we're yeah. re-recording the end segment. So we've already heard all this shit. Yeah. And now we're going to react to it as yeah, if was... we've never heard it before. Oh, as right. organic as possible. Like, yeah. Uh, and be like, uh, yeah, that was cool. Yeah, I'm like, is that a shoot or is that a work? <laughs> uh, well, this next call is from Bingo. If we haven't heard from him enough, we're going to hear from him again, which he hasn't called back in a while. So let's hear from Bingo. Hey, Bingo. All right, kids, so this fucking guy and his family are walking into the hotel, check in for the evening. Yeah. And the guy walks up to the front counter and he says to the guy, I hope the porn is disabled. And the guy at the counter says, you sick fuck, it's just regular porn. Oh, shit. Bingo. Yeah. Disabled for the kids. I, hey, does anybody know why fucking walruses are always having Tupperware parties? No. Uh, no it's because one. they're always trying to find a tight seal. Bingo! <laughs> I actually got that one this time. <laughs> All right, a tight seal. I do, got you it. The, do you guys yeah. know the differences between kinky and perverted? No. Kinky is when you take out a feather and you tickle Cobra Dad's little lady. And perverted is when she breaks out the whole bird. Bingo! Oh, okay. Oh, fucking Cobra Dad took it pretty hard this week. Yeah. From his little lady and from Mikey TV. Ah! Dude. You fucking kids have a great journey. Yeah, that's true on yep. Tex AF. Uh, you got it pretty hard, but we were all drunk there. I gotta say, I was, I was so drunk, man. And but I enjoyed the fuck out of that Tex AF episode, which is available on the three dollar broke ass nugget here on Patreon. Dude, it's easy to do. Patreon f- dot com forward slash hoodcast AF. Dude, the recent Tex AF episode called Blowout. Oh my god. We review <laughs> the out, menu man. and yeah. review some other the shit. Pay-per-view, baby. Holy fuck. Yeah. Holy fuck. You guys go toe to toe. Like, yep. oh my God. And you guys are ashamed of it. I, You guys feel the repercussions from it now. But holy fuck. That's because you guys are tired. It's like you guys did this expert wrestling match. And oh my God. <laughs> you guys entertained me. And, <laughs> dude, that's what I'm trying to sell. Entertain me. And this is gold. Gold, yeah. Jerry. Gold. <laughs> I Y'all think he's the... trying to get us to tell each other to fuck off again. No, right? Not... No, I know that's what it sounds like. <laughs> but if we were to do that, it would be over on the pay per view, over on the Patreon, yes, sir. available for three only dollars pro- a month. We yeah. only do the promos here. You gotta watch the pay per view yeah. for the real show. Yes. Not gonna are you here because you can't you can't fight with Annie Braunschwager. I'm here. I'm here to destroy you because I can take you. I can take you and can kill you now because you're all puny and I can smoke my stogie and while I 
pump my iron and then you just have tiny shoulders. It doesn't matter because <laughs> I can punch a camel and I can fuck the moon. It doesn't matter. You're all a bunch of pieces of shit and I can destroy you in one second and you're not hyphy. You can't be hyphy like me because we're all from California but you live in the ghetto and I'm rich and I fucked the maid and I gave a son and I have a son and now he's in acting school but he can't act like me because he doesn't pump enough iron and I'm the man. Arnie, terminate. Terminate. Shut off. Alright, I think that worked. I, I can't control the uh, my Arnie pod. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Arnie pods are available on Amazon through Hoodcast. <laughs> yeah. Use code Hood. Get your Arnie pod. Uh, we got another call from the Mighty Monarch, which uh, he did call in last episode. And. Yep. He, uh, I don't know. He he's a terrorist shit. for good. God damn it. He's a terrorist he's for there. us. He's, he's got our back and he wants to support us hoodcast guys by any means necessary. That's and right. we don't, we don't just say no, don't do that. We're going to totally let you do that. So then when you get in trouble, they'll be like hoodcast AF and then America will know who we are. And look, That's man, right. you can hit that <laughs> voice message button on the site of hoodcastaf.com. Leave any voice message. You can be... You can play a character like the Mining Monarch, which I don't know if he's a character or not. He's basically like Venture Brothers, Batman 66 yeah. bad guy, dude. He's, he's all about it. And he kind of helps us out. So, Who do you think would win in a fight between Monarch and Danhausen? Uh, mm, hmm. Monarch, bro. One, he's man. got henchmen. They both sound the same. I don't know, but I don't hear the Monarch's henchmen. I know they're not doing a great job, but let's hear from yeah, the Monarch right now. Well, is it recording or isn't it? Jesus Christ, 21. People of the Hoodcast Nation, beware. Okay. It is I, the Mighty Monarch. I'm scared. Okay, so, uh, yeah, apparently uh, my minions are not as good as explosives as I had been informed they were. And uh, I guess uh, only one of our shit bombs went off last week, and it was apparently over the town of Vallejo. Oh. And Christ, nobody even noticed that the place was covered in shit. It just seemed like another yeah, day for the yeah. people of Vallejo. We've been here before. <laughs> Anyways, it was unsuccessful. But I, the mighty monarch, have not given up. We will raise money through Patreon for the Hoodcast Nation. So I have decided to borrow an idea from one of my great mentors. And we have developed a Weather Dominator. And with this weather dominator, we should raise the degrees of the Earth's temperature slightly over a long, long period of time. In 25 or 30 years, the polar ice caps will melt. It will be warm in upstate New York. Hmm. And polar bears will die. If you do not deliver $2 million to the Hoodcast account by, I don't know, let's say the 28th. Sure. Let's do it. We will all start the button on the weather dominator and begin the destruction of the planet Earth through slow heat over time. Fear me, fear my minions. We are together. Fear the mighty monarch and good journeys. I like how uh, bad guys have one giant button that can just make all hell break loose. It's only Man, one button. They have they have till Sunday to give us money, man. Dude, have till Sunday. Look, I need money. I'm like Cobra yeah. Dad. I need money. <laughs> yeah. Look, we're we're all like we're all in the same boat as Monarch. Uh, you know, eggs cost a million dollars. Everything's yeah. you know, whatever you think that you have that's a reasonable thing right now, it's gonna go up in value. Well, I don't if care you're what the fuck for it eggs, is. I got the plug on it. I, I just called my man over in Texas. I got the Texas plug. I got gotcha. you on the eggs, man. Just let need me menthol know. Menthol cigarettes. I you got know what you. Y'all need the menthols. You need, need the Newport One Hundred. Brown eggs. We got them cage free joints. Nobody wants brown just eggs. Let me know. Oh shit! I mean, like organic eggs. You slap that sticker on it. They cost too much. <laughs> and they're That's smaller, do, dude. dude. I'm gonna be at La Polga, dude. I'm gonna bring roll up <laughs> in a U-Haul truck <laughs> on any given fucking Sunday for the fucking eggs, menthol cigarettes, menthol and oh, baits. Shit. 
Yeah, because California, they don't have menthol cigarettes no more. So, no more, you, know, man. Yeah. you can't do I'm it no more. show a case in Newport. So I'm going to be just like the fucking Bro. good fellas. I'll be like, I got parts. What you want, hundreds or shorts? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you You're want right. a Lucy? Okay. That's two for ten. It's okay. <laughs> That's because you're all gilly man. You don't even know what it is to be a Terminator. You don't know what it is to quit jobs like Cobra Dad. And you just terminate. You just do it. You don't even know. Because I'm a real man. I know because I smoke my stogie and I do it too. And I smoke it. And I smoke it in the face of all these Californians. I don't care. They're my, my people. But I don't care. I don't care. I will kill them all. If it bleeds, we can kill it. I don't... I don't know. Terminate. Terminate. God fucking damn it. I, I, I can't get rid of it. That thing is on autopilot. I got to get rid of the yeah. Arnie pod, dude. It like, and anytime I mention Hulk Hogan, it just plays like the fucking, ah, God damn it. Uh, Motherfucker, uh, dude. Like Hulkster in heaven. Dude, that's all Arnie pod plays is Hulkster in heaven. You know what I realized? There was no McFarland news this week. No McFarland. There right. wasn't. There was no. That's right. Holy shit! No McFarlane. Sometimes news. there right, is no bro. McFarlane news because you know why? They're trying to sell the Patreon, where it's just going to be McFarlane and Capullo doing their uh, thing, like a whole show, yeah. and that's only available on the Patreon. I mean, also look, that deal went through. We finalized it. We talked about the free deal. When you listen to this yeah. free podcast, you get the Ninja version where they're washing your Gosh. your. You're the Juggalo version, I'm sorry, yeah. where they're washing your windshield and they go whoop, whoop, whoop. <laughs> <laughs> and then you don't pay them. You just drive off because they're fucking Juggalos. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, it's basically. I, I think we did, gentlemen. Another Cobra Maniac. You got your walking papers, Cobra, right? Yeah. I, you know, unfortunately. We'll see you again. Yeah. <laughs> good journey. Is, I don't say goodbye. Oh, I say, I say good journey. <laughs> next week yeah. is Cobra on the show or is he not? Find out yeah. next week. Yeah, is it a shoot or is it a work? Listen to Co- <laughs> not Cobra Hulk I'm sing all my romantically. Show called the weekly habit. Yeah. <laughs> Which is available over on Instagram every Wednesday. <laughs> yes, sir. Sometimes she'll take a picture Cobra, of a song. Does and the say spotlight he has now grow dim? The prayers we said together are still our guarantee. <laughs> you were my friend. <laughs> you still owe me money, money, money. <laughs> I'll see you again. At La Polga, La Polga. <laughs> Dude, if Cobra died, we have to play the song for him and re record the audio. World just lost another Cobra maniac. <laughs> Cobra, don't die recently because we'll have too much fun. <laughs> I'll try not to. <laughs> Look, we have a lot of fun, but. We still love you, man. Thank you. It's all love, baby. Baby. I just hate this fucking song, dude. Like, dude, this song whole, is so great. Dude, Mikey's over there cringing the whole time. Yeah, like this song, no matter how many times <laughs> that I heard this episode, I'm just cringing. And I just like, when will it end? Can I go deaf? <laughs> Dude, you know what's funny is it's Hulk it, singing. It makes more sense this time around. Now. Yeah, the song. He's my friend. I like all the black chicks. I He's see my where you're friend. Going with it, bro. Yeah, because the Hulk can't sing. The Hulk cannot sing. He can play guitar. He's gotta have that orchestra chick vibe behind him. And yeah. the vibratos and like the the yeah. resonance. You again. Yeah. That soul. Because the man is Thunder Lips. Dude, but this song is... When the Hulk dies, this song is going to be an epic. You're going to hear this song at Entertainment Tonight and TMZ. Lost. The Hulkamania. Hulkamania. You think he's going to get the ill, uh, like, 
memorial at WWE and shit if, when he passed. Oh, him. dude, they're gonna go all out on they're SmackDown, soak it, right? Raw, Look, NXT. Terry yeah, Bollea. It's gonna be a new shirt, a new figure. Terry Bollea is a piece AEW's of shit. AEW's gonna say it, everybody. But right? the Hulk Hogan character is Good the Lord. wrestler of all time. I don't care about Hulk John Hogan's Cena, die. Stone Cold, The Rock. Hulk Hogan yeah. is the wrestler of all time. He the character. He started that gangster shit, and that's going to be the motherfucking thanks he gets. Yeah. We don't say goodbye. We say good journey. Good journey. My friend. We'll tag up again. That's right. We're 30 now. What the fuck is trash. this? The the fuck? Fuck? <laughs> We're running God out damn it. We're 30 now. <laughs> it's Jack Hold on. Well you piece of fuck. fuck. You piece of I'm fuck. I'm 30 now. Hems comes. Hems erectile dysfunction medicine. Yes. Yes. Just yes. Yes. Now. I just don't have the same testosterone. They just went straight to choir boys. I don't know what happened. To see how the child might be. It's just choir boys now. She sat there. Choir Boys are awesome. If you don't know Choir Boys, they do the the uh, intro theme song to Peace Peacemaker, the John Cena joint. Because Cobra, I don't love you anymore. <laughs> she said, "I don't love you anymore." I was slain and shown. I wish you were funnier on the show. <laughs> you were on Tex AF. You said we ripped off your weekly habit, but yet you didn't know. Couple weeks prior, <laughs> and now That's you try right. to talk and keep the peace, <laughs> <laughs> but you I'm don't to know. Hold on to my seat. Even though we're gonna replace it with Kevin, <laughs> <laughs> just let the enuses speak. <laughs> All the enuses want to cry. Enus she says, I, I don't love you, Cobra, anymore. I don't want to call this episode <laughs> Enus Envy. Enus Envy. Oh, fuck. Enus Envy. He <laughs> just smirked it. You know, I already made the, the logo cover. I got to rename it Enus Envy. You got to, bro. Holy yeah, fuck. Enus Envy. Enus Envy. And now that you're saying goodbye to me. It's bittersweet. I don't love you anymore, Cobra. You don't got leave that me in his that sin. Don't leave me beat down. Don't suck too many. I'm not enuses. both you motherfuckers. I'm in Texas. <laughs> Texas, yeah. Oh, the where the enuses are bigger. Metal, hardcore wrestling and, well, Evil fucking shit talk episode. <laughs> <laughs> and you got the Enus Envy, dude. dude Everything's man, bigger man. in Texas, even Enuses. <laughs> I fucking hate it. It snowed for one day, hella much snow, and then disappeared the next. Mother. Here's your shit. walking papers. Your fires from the show. But if I try to apply for another podcast, can I use you for a reference? We'll say you worked here. I we would just say, say why we no, really no, you. no. Because <laughs> you're Cobra Dad. You do the weekly habit. That's the best that you can do because you're Enos. You just suck a lot of Enos. <laughs> And also, Cobra Dad, don't forget to shut the fuck up. <laughs> I don't know. Look, we tried. We tried. I think that was great. I, I think uh, the next episode will be the trial of Cobra Dad. Oh, the, oh, the trial. Well, the maybe that will be. A, maybe that should be a Patreon. The trial of Cobra Dad. 
That sounds better because we got to keep it action figure related on yes, the free yeah. show for all yeah, our yeah, yeah. free people who take the squeegee yeah, free from the, the juggalos. Patreon, least, on the Patreon, we can add other guys and it, it'll, it'll be pretty good. Yeah. We can get a whole jury. Yeah, yeah we can get a whole jury of your peers because that's, that's how it works here at Hoodcast. Yeah, that's how it works these days in uh, the good old America. Yeah. So America. We'll get the, the good word from the jury of your peers. Yes. And, uh, I'm willing to stand by, stand for my crimes. We will come up with a punishment, and you'll have to do it. So, yeah, we'll see. Until <laughs> one of us next gets drunk, and then we have to go to the jury uh, yeah. and have a trial. Like uh, we we'll right. call it the out of pocket jury. <laughs> out of pocket jury. I guess it's a really goodbye. Huh? Hey man. You know. Take a journey. There's an old attorney saying, Live the journey, for every destiny is but a doorway to another. Good journey. Good journey.